Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Bruce Sabowski Studio. So I'm out for some plein air painting today. I'm in an industrial park and I think I found a subject. I'm going to be doing a 16 by 20. I talked about in my previous video about trying to do larger on location pieces and this is the maiden voyage. So let me show you what I'm looking at. Okay, here's what I'm looking at. This tractor trailer. And I'm going to do kind of zoom in try to zoom in a little bit I'm thinking of a composition something like in there okay here's what I got going on so far and I'm comparing taking my brush measuring comparing to the uh, subject coming over to my painting that sort of thing so I don't have my tripod with me today I'm just carrying my little Canon elf so I'm gonna try to just give bits of filming here I'm I'm getting into the habit of always starting my painting with a value study here. Just using a color. I usually use burnt umber or raw umber. I just like that that uh, tone and uh, sets the mood for the piece for me. Not into super colorful starts in terms of uh, backgrounds, but it doesn't mean you can't, obviously. And just blocking in the sun came out for two minutes so when it does come out I, I chase the shadow to get that shadow going and it's sort of faint right now sometimes it's stronger but we have some clouds coming through and it shifts in and out so I'm just trying to capture what I see when I see it so get back to you here's how we're coming along here I'm just getting some base uh, the big tones in and then I'll work down from there. The paint is uh, pretty thin at this point, so I have time to uh, space, I should say, kind of uh, in terms of thickness of paint. If I need to change something, I'm not fighting some very thick paint. Once I establish a, a color tone that I like, then I can commit to some thicker paint. And uh, kind of liking it so far. The hard part is kind of trying to find the value difference between the shadow and, and uh, what color I want to differentiate between here and here. But I'm getting there, working on it, getting some base value for right now. Scumbling over the dry. It's kind of windy out today. So it's tacking up uh, the base tone of raw umber sketch that I originally did. So I'm going to work some more and then get back to you. Here's what I got going on so far. It's getting there. It's getting there. The real challenge is going to be getting the subtle things going on in the uh, semi tractor trailer because there's no really super defined planes in the front to the side. But we'll give it a shot. Here's where I'm at now. I'm getting there. After a certain while, you know, you kind of lose your steam a bit, even though you're interested in the painting and that's bound to happen I'm just trying to power through it and of course you got a lot of different light shifts going on in terms of uh, sun in sun out but just trying to make the best of it I do like the freshness of it uh, obviously you gotta add some more layers of paint in terms of thickness but it does feel like a plain air piece uh, for a large scale and this is just suggesting starting to suggest the detail in the truck uh, I did, of course, take some reference photos, but I'm um, trying to do as much as I can on site here. We'll see. Slowly getting there. Lots more to do, but I think for my first attempt at a large scale plane air, that it's not looking too shabby. I like how I have the proportions. I think that uh, worked out pretty well. Could be I'm sure some minor adjustments but okay I'm going to wrap it up here. Looks like it's going to rain so I don't want to get caught in the sprinkles uh, with my painting. So uh, let me show you what I got. Okay here's how I'm ending it in this session. Did take some reference photos but I'm pretty happy with how I got the big shapes and that sort of thing. So I'm uh, pretty excited. Kind of finally did it starting to work larger all right so here's the palette I just want to go over this for real quick here's a, the brush I use for about 80% of it it's a 
size 10 round bristle and that's what I used pretty much for the whole thing and the colors I used were titanium white raw umber cobalt blue Venetian red and yellow ochre okay well I'm pretty pleased with myself that I got out here and uh, finally did it starting with some uh, you know 16 by 20 to enlarge my plain air pieces kind of got sick of doing uh, the smaller format ones and actually to tell you the truth it's uh, getting to be very confining I feel like I'm in there trying to do information trying to paint and uh, I don't know I guess I'm just ready to take the next step and work uh, in a bigger format so I can really get some sweeping motions going on so pretty happy with it and uh, see if we can't take a look at when I get home and all that good stuff Okay, I'm back at home and uh, pretty happy with how the painting turned out. I can't complain. I'm proud of myself for getting out there and doing some large format, a larger format. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, even though it was kind of a, not my usual format. Did the best I could. And if you're new to the channel, checking out for the first time, thank you for watching and I invite you to subscribe. Be sure to hit that bell notification to be alerted as to when I post new videos. And I invite everybody to follow me on Instagram at Habowski Studio. I uh, post things there that you won't see on my YouTube channel. And also I have a business page on Facebook called Habowski Studio. I invite you to follow me there and hit that like button on the page. And until next time, bye.